Hello, welcome to Raz Broadcast. Hi, my name is Ryan, and today we'll be talking about the well-known game Fortnite. Fortnite is a very popular game developed by Epic Games, and people can fly. Anyone eight and up can play. Fortnite is an online multiplayer third-person shooter game that combines gameplay elements from games like Players Unknown Battlegrounds with cartoonish visuals. These cartoonish visuals are good for the younger players as it prevents the use of blood and gore. Fortnite also allows players to connect with their friends and play and have fun with each other. But Fortnite has its fair share of problems as well, the most prominent being its addictiveness, with players having unhealthy amounts of screen time. Another problem involves the game's in-game currency known as V-Bucks. V-Bucks can be an in-game purchased item, which allows players to purchase items in-game for more benefits. Overall, Fortnite is a good game, but its players are the ones that decide how it affects them and their actions. Thank you for listening, thank you for your time, and now up with Zach, talking about basketball. I'm Zach, I'm you and Julie Fallon. Uh, LeBron James, while he was in uh, the second quarter, uh, LeBron James said, uh, I'm that old Julie Fallon. He feels like um, we should have been uh, on the foul. Uh, and then also the calls that were happening on the Boston Celtics. Uh, so I feel like uh, on the refs were calling the all uh, right plays, but like the A run, the air run time, so it was like the, the, uh, the, uh, the wrong calls. Also, uh, LeBron is a uh, uh, very good. Basketball player, he passed uh, Michael Jordan for 12,000 points, and then also uh, LeBron has three championships: two for, for uh, the Miami Heat in 2012 and 2013. And then he even um, went back to Cleveland to win his third in, in the year 2016. The Celtics have three main players her uh, but the coach Brian Stevens uh, helped the team um, uh, get better. And have young players help the team. Uh, uh, I mean, they have uh, a lot of uh, a talent, and, and that makes the Celtics uh, I'm a good team plus team um, team of uh, uh, chemistry. Uh, that makes the Celtics a uh, uh, be more close as team. Uh, I'm in a good uh, relationship, uh, which has helped the team so far, and not. Giving up and and keep up playing to the best of uh, 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 my ability. Thank you guys for listening to what uh, um, I have to say. Uh, next up is Adam. Um, we're talking about uh, 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 Florida High School was accused for shameful animal cruelty at a prom night. It was Christopher Columbus High School in Miami. They apologized for what happened because many people were very outraged. A 10 second video on Facebook went viral of a tiger in a small cage. The students were allowed to hold a lemur, macaws, and fennec fox. One student named Mari Chris Castellanos posted the video and he was very mad at what happened at his prom. Many parents were very upset about the video and they thought that they brought their kids to a good school. Many parents were not disagreeing. The high school says the tiger was extra fire performer. Also, they said the tiger was not harmed and relaxed and not looking at the audience. The principal of the school states, We have learned a great deal from this experience. According to the PETA, People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, tigers are naturally scared of fire. PETA says that it's against the rules to bring a live tiger. It's very bad what they did and apologize to everyone. Thank you for watching the Raz Broadcast. See you next time.